It's Bonnie. Happy Monday. Check it out. I have got the Lush Kitchen box for June. And why was I thinking this was like Mario? I don't know why. I thought I saw somewhere. It looks more like um, a Father's Day box. It says we're all happy hippies. And um, it's got some interesting aromas going on here. I got a sticker um, sheet. And this is definitely what I would call an earthy box. Just looking at it uh, right now. So we're going to dig into this. Um, I do get the Lush Kitchen once a month. It's a $49 box. Um, I canceled it for a while, but now that like fall's coming, I'm kind of like, well, I think maybe I'm going to keep it because I like getting this stuff. So first up, Oh, wow. This is strong. What the heck? I think the eyes fell off of this. It's the, la oh, the lava lamp. My lava lamp is missing the lava. Um, this is, uh, drop it like it's hot into the bath and sink for a soak. Um, it has got orange flower, um, citrus, Sicilian red mandarin oil. It's kind of spicy. I gotta say, I do love the Lush bath bombs. Like, if you're gonna do a bath bomb experience, go with Lush. Um, unfortunately, Bath and Body Works has more of a bath fizzy. They're not bad. It's just a very different experience. They're more like Alka-Seltzer. They dissipate fast. They're kind of oily. Whereas Lush does bath art. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Speaking of art, look at this. Like a giant blue drop here. It's called the Temple of Truth. This is a bubble bar. Okay. Um, this one's got, oh my gosh, wood oil. Uh, oh my gosh, sandalwood. What the heck? It's funny. <laughs> a lot of times the Lush to me, it smells like Lush. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you get like a peppermint or like a distinct scent but a lot of their stuff just smells like lush so what is the difference between a bath bomb and a bubble bar a bath bomb is not a bubbly thing you put this in the bathtub and it's a slow fizz and what it's going to do is it's going to create a really beautiful um in this case shade of orange in your bathtub and they're a little creamy and they're really fun the bubble bar is actually going to create bubbles. So what you do is you crumble this under the water and you're going to get this wonderful bubble bath. You can mix the two together. You know, I mean, you can use a bath bomb and a bubble bar at the same time. Okay, what else is in here? Um, oh, I think I got a soap. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. This is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, this has a little bit of a different smell. This one is um, chamomile. Or, um, what else is in here? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Lavender, neroli, because it's got like the ingredients, not necessarily the scent nuts. Getting a floral off of here. Very natural though. That's kind of pretty. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited they gave me a hair bar. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to order. A lush hair bar. Oh, that smells good. Um, I like to mix the hair bar in about once a week. I like the hair bars because they really get my hair um, like squeaky clean. This is the Karma Kumba. I have used this one before. I love it. Got patchouli, Brazilian orange. Oh my gosh. I love this one. It's a very pungent scent, but it's good. Check out that hair bar. Okay. And then I have one final thing in here. Um, oh, we have a shower gel. We have got, check it out. We've got happy hippie. Check this one out. It is the groovy grapefruit and frankincense. <gasps> oh, in hydrating almond. Oil. Oh, this is a body lotion. This is not, I'm like, it's the shower gel. No, this is, I, I think I've had happy hippie before. Is this new? Anyone, anyone out there? <laughs> anyone? Bueller? <laughs> um, oh, I like this one. <gasps> this is a good one. It's always good when you have a little frankincense in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this smells good. I like it. It's really pungent. It's really... Um, strong it's got it's got a hippie vibe you guys it's a happy hippie this is nice i like their 
um, lotion in the summer because it's not like super um, thick, but it does moisturize really well. I can just tell putting it on right now. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, um, great Lush Kitchen Box. I'm actually really happy with everything I got in this one. Um, you know, it's interesting. Like I said, for some reason, I thought we were getting a Mario box and I don't know why. Now it's bugging me. I got to go look online and see what was happening um, with Mario. Let me look at Lush. They're coming out with a lot of new stuff, like quickly. They've got that Bridgerton collection, which was really kind of cool. And then, um, why am I in Ulta? Oh, Lush is at Ulta now? Since when is Lush at Ulta? When did this happen? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I feel like things are happening here. <laughs> um, let's see, no, except cookies, okay. Uh, bath bombs. Oh my gosh, they have so many bath bombs out right now. What the heck? Um, Bridgerton. Wow. So they did this thing where a lot of times they release like a ton of bath bombs. Um, the giant intergalactic, that thing is huge and it's going to turn your bathtub like crazy shades of blue and pink. Um, the Bridgerton American cream. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So if you want a oh, thermal waves, that one actually looks really cool. Look at that. Um, so if you're looking for interesting bath products, I thought they had Mario in here. I don't know. They keep coming and going. Check out Lush. Um, Lush Halloween is going to be coming sooner than later, like in September. That is exciting. I love Lush Halloween and Christmas. So anyway, I'm going to go use this tonight on my hair. And um, I will see you guys later. Let me know what you think of the box this month. Bye-bye.